Question number two. Mr. Mehta deposited a certain sum in a bank for two years at the rate of 10% per annum compounded annually. From the amount after two years, he took out rupees 6200 after two years and the remaining amount he left in the bank for the third year. The compound interest for the third year is 9 by 21 times of that the first two years. Find the sum deposited in the bank initially. Since this is a question on compound interest, uh, for the first two years it's going to be successive, then there is a decrease in the amount. So we will have to calculate some, cal uh, some percentage change in the third year. So since everything is based on percentage, we can start with the assumption of the value. So let's say if the principal is rupees 100, then if you talk about the compound interest in the first year, we will be getting the rate of interest is given as 10% per annum in the question, right? So in the first year, we will be getting 10% of 100, which is going to be rupees 10. Uh, in the second year, we will be getting rupees uh, 10 as well and another 10% of 10 that will be 1 rupee. So the interest earned at the end of 2 years is going to be rupees 21. Now it is given that the compound interest for the third year is 9 by 21 times of the first 2 years. So the first 2 years we get rupees 21. So we are supposed to get rupees 9 now because it says it's 9 by 21 times of the first 2 years the interest earned in the third year. Please do pay attention it says interest and not rate of interest. Since it's going to be 9 rupees, so what should be uh, the principal after the second year such that 10% of that results in a 9 rupees. So it should be a 90 rupees. So 90 rupees should be the principal. So at the end of the second year, the amount was 121. Uh, in the at the beginning of the third year, the amount or uh, not the amount, the principal is rupees 90. So can we say he is going to take out uh, uh, 31 rupees from here? 121 minus 90. Now it is given that he took out 6200. So we will extrapolate it and we will see how many times is this. So 31 into 2 is 62 and this is two zeros. So 200 times is going to be 6200 for 31. So if it the amount he takes out is 200 times, that means every value in this particular assumption is going to be 200 times. Since the question asked is find the sum deposited in the bank initially, as in since they're asking us the initial principle, this should be also 200 times. So 200 into 100 will result in 20,000. So since it was a theta question, we were supposed to put in the value, which is 2 followed by 4 zeros. So 20,000 should be the uh, initial deposit made in the bank.